My name is Rachel and I am an intern for the League of Women Voters Texas. We're doing a video series on the proposed constitutional amendments that will be voted on the ballot this November. Along with an explanation, we will hear some pros and cons to help you decide whether you want to vote in favor or against the amendment. The proposition would create the Flood Infrastructure Fund, or the FIF, as a special fund outside of general revenue. The Texas Water Development Board would distribute FIF funds to local governments through loans or grants. The money would be used to establish and maintain flood control structures and drainage infrastructure throughout the state, especially in economically distressed areas. 1. Severe flooding events, such as Hurricane Harvey, point out the necessity of being prepared to prevent future damage, which the proposition would do. 2. Access to federal funding and grants often requires local governments to match the amount of money the federal government would provide. The proposed amendment would allow the Texas Water Development Board to give loans to local governments so they could access federal funds. 3. Because removing from the Economic Stabilization Fund to create the FIF would be a one-time expense, it will not drain the Rainy Day Fund. 1. A local government could default on a loan, thereby costing the state income meant to replenish the FIF. Taxpayers might ultimately be liable for payment of loans for any general obligation bonds issued. 2. Historically, state government has not played a heavy role in funding flood control infrastructure and has generally been handled by the local and federal governments. 3. Using money from the Rainy Day Fund to establish the FIF could be inappropriate because only one-time expenses or funds for disaster response should be removed from it. Because the FIF is an ongoing project, funds to create it should be taken away from general revenue. I hope I've helped you make an informed, educated decision. See you at the polls and check out our voters guide at lwvtexas.org or vote411.org for more information.